Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with Steve Kravak, one of the co-producers on Blink-182's debut record Cheshire Cat. If you want to see the full interview, it's linked below. When Tom left the band, was that surprising at all to you? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I think that that what they had done was kind of worked out a formula that worked really well for them. So kind of to abandon that to me seemed like rash. You know, like maybe you could take a break and come back to it or something. But again, like, I don't know the background there. So I can't speak to what anybody's, you know, motivations, you know, what, what might have been. I was actually more surprised that they got somebody else in to play in the band. Like to get Skiba in to play in the band. That actually surprised me more. I thought the thing to do was, okay, well, you just play Mark songs. Oh, I got what you're saying. Okay. okay. Get a guitar player and just play Mark songs. Just hire Dude X as the guitar player, keep all the focus on, on Mark. But bringing Skiba and you're bringing in another punk rock star. You know, I, I think I'm comfortable in saying that. You know, he's got a terrific band and writes great songs in his own right. And, and so you, you, it's a whole different dynamic. And I think that's the thing that surprised me the most. Yeah. Do, do, do you have any sort of um, relationship with uh, Matt Skiba? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I have met him. I have met him because um, for about five minutes, I uh, uh, was running a, a, a bar business that I was involved in in L.A. And he came by a couple of times and I never remembered him. So every time somebody came by, they had to go, oh, that's Matt Skiba. And then be, and he, Matt would go, oh, Steve, I remember you. We met before. I'm like, oh, Matt, cool. Yeah, uh, I didn't remember meeting you last time or something or what you looked like. I didn't remember what he looked like or something like that. But I actually have met Matt Skiba a couple of times and he's a sweet guy. That's cool. Yeah. And there are rumors that Tom might rejoin Blink at some point. Do you think that's a natural thing that should happen or is that done? Oh, I mean, I think I, th I think that'll probably happen at some point. Maybe not now, but maybe 10 years down the road, you know. The guys are still, they're still young. So, you know, they could do it, you know, they could do, they could do that dash for cash right at the end, you know. And, and, and you know what? They have great fans and people that love them and support them. People will come out and see some shows even when they're in their, in their 50s, you know, or their 60s. Yeah. The question is, would Matt still be in the band if Tom comes back? Or like, does he have to leave? Oh, I think he probably has to leave. I think that's probably how, I think that, I think that's probably how that goes down. And so when Blink ended for the first time, were you surprised at all by that? Maybe a little bit just because they had kind of taken it and sort of turned it into their own little cottage industry. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so when you've got something that's working that well, you tend to not disrupt and so maybe it was a little bit surprising in that sense, you know. But who's to know what goes on over years and years of touring and working together and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? It's just unless you're a fly on the wall, you can't put those pieces together.